of an alternative role model. I don't claim to be like naturally beautiful. I explain how I put myself together. For me, I personally didn't have a lot of role models in the mainstream media because I couldn't really relate to like some of those on the Sports Illustrated swimsuit is issue, for instance. You know, I can't, I can't relate to that image. I can't become that. But with what I do, there are little elements you can choose and, and kind of capture the spirit of old Hollywood glamour and it's a different point of view of sexy. It's about personal empowerment through the creation of glamour. What I've been trying to preach and create is do-it-yourself glamour because that's what my entire career is based on. I style myself, I don't have a stylist, I do want my own hair and makeup from all of red carpet events and most of my photo shoots. You don't have to be rich, you don't have to be a celebrity to get glamour because I've had it my whole life. I've always enjoyed the art of self-creation and that's really what I'm selling with my perfumes and my lingerie. I discovered a long time ago that people responded to me well and enjoyed watching me perform when I was being myself and not trying to be sexy or trying to be somebody that I wasn't. Dita Von is a stage name I came up with because I love classic old Hollywood and you'd be very hard pressed to find a movie star from the 1930s or 40s or even 50s that used their birth name. It was kind of part of you know, creating the mystique and the, the glamour of, of that time. For me, there's no difference between Heather Renee Sweet and Dita Von Teese. I don't have to turn it on or off. That Cadillac is my car, I drive it around. It's like, these are my real things. As for the clothes, um, you know, the, the 30s, 40s, and 50s were a time that femininity was really emphasized, and that's one thing that I like about it. It's a really beautiful era for fashion, and it's still referenced. It's still something that can be very modern now. You know, a lot of great designers, uh, my favorite designers, are referencing those eras, too. I have obsessions that have been with me my entire life that I cannot um, really let go of. You know, like the red lipstick. I have no interest in wearing lip gloss. I will be 90 years old if I make it to that age. I will be wearing this red lipstick. It's just something I always wanted since I was a little girl and so I have no reason to try to change it. I just think I accept myself and the things that I love, the aesthetics I love, and I'm not trying to please anyone else. Bye, Lifestyle Mirror.